we move on to our team coverage of the heat tonight, we all need to remember to stay hydrated to get through this heat, but your plants, your trees, they need some help with that too. K Texas reporter Lauren Sierra went to a local garden center to find out how you can keep your greenery healthy while conserving water at the same time. People and pets are obviously feeling the effects of this high heat, but plants are too. To get your landscaping through this drought, you're going to need to use water and you're going to need to use it effectively. Big sturdy trees might not be something you think about when it comes to watering, but in a drought it matters. Martin Jensen, an assistant at Mankin and Sons Gardens, says a sprinkler system is not enough. You have to get the water deep down to the bottom of the root system. You should turn on a low trickle of water and leave that soaking for two to three hours. For all your grass and small plants, if you have a drip irrigation or sprinkler system in your yard, Jensen says you should use it twice a week. Pots, water, almost daily in this kind of a heat. It's uh, taking a toll on them, especially with the wind also. It's kind of like a convection oven. We're just scorching not only ourselves, but all of our plants here also. As long as this high heat and little chance of rain is going to continue, you're definitely going to want to keep an eye on your plants. In North Abilene, I'm Lauren Sierra, K Texas News.